Hi everyone, Carol here with the question of the week. This week I've been asked a lot, I've seen it on um, the Facebook support group, um, what about the HCG meal replacement shakes? So I'm going to talk a little bit about my view on the shakes. Uh, I'm basing this off from the one from GNC. So I looked at the ingredients and that's basically what I'm basing it off from. So, um, First of all, I want to say that you should stick as close to protocol as you can. So I believe that um, Dr. Simeon's, you know, he, he did such an awesome job with this protocol and we should stick to protocol as much as we can. The only thing I really talk about that I really believe that you should have is coconut oil and you can watch my other vlogs on that. Um, so there is some vegetables in this mix that in the ingredient list that I saw that um, are not on protocol. So that's one of my issues. The second one is that he the, the shakes mix vegetables and I believe that you should not have mixed vegetables just like the protocol. So um, the other thing is it has added salt. So it has all of these things in it that um, are you know are probably not healthy choices and um, and it's and it's somewhat processed and you don't know what the process is. So if you knew the process and what the company went through to make this, it's different. But it is a little bit processed and so I'm very process free. Uh, so especially in P2, if you're in P3 and you're having like a shake that has, you know, um, that kind of stuff in there, it's a little bit different. But this is all P2. So... Anyways, those are um, some of my issues. Now, I understand that sometimes you just need to have something like this. I mean, I'm a traveler, so if, if you have to travel or for health reasons, um, whatever it may be, um, you know, it's something that you're just going to have to risk and, and take the chance on. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot of things that could happen. You may not see it right away. You won't have as big as a lot. You might not have as big a, a losses. Um, and uh, the other thing is you could stall later and not know why you stalled. So I think, you know, going back to um, the basics of the protocol is the best and preparing your food at home so you can watch your salt intake, um, use sea salt and, you know, not mix the vegetables and use the vegetables on protocol. I really believe that if you really want to lose weight and you really want to make this happen, that you're going to dedicate your time and your energy on doing it right. And although there's other circumstances such as, you know, that you're taking a trip or you're, you're in, on the road or something for some reason, I understand all of that. But if you really, really want to make this work, you just really got to not take it the easy way out if that's why you're doing it, is to take the easy way out and just shake something up and, and drink it. So um, those are just... Yeah, that's just my opinion on it. I get asked it a lot, so thought I'd do a vlog on it. And hope you guys all have a great week and a weekend. Ta-ta. Till next time.